Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ. Thanks for taking this time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not currently a member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you're really gonna like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Today I'm here to talk about Acorns. And with the recent release of Acorns Later, Acorns now has retirement accounts as part of their platform. So for just $2 a month, you can have access to Acorns Invest, which is their traditional brokerage account, as well as Acorns Later, which is their retirement options. And there are actually three options that you have with the Acorns Later feature. So very similar to the traditional Acorns Invest, the big feature with Acorns is that you have automated investing. So you can make deposits of at least $5 and then you can have those $5 invested into your Acorns Later ETF portfolio. And depending on your risk tolerance, Acorns will recommend a specific portfolio, which includes multiple ETFs of stocks or bond combinations, ranging from very conservative to very aggressive. And once you've set up the account, you actually have three retirement options via Acorns Later. Those three options are the traditional IRA, the Roth IRA, and the SEP SEP IRA. Now the traditional IRA is what most people think about when they think about IRAs and retirement accounts. And with this account, you can contribute up to $6,000 and that is the contribution limit for any IRA from any company. And that same limit applies to Roth IRAs. Now the big difference between the traditional IRA and the Roth IRA is that any contributions made to the traditional IRA are tax deductible. However, with the Roth IRA, you're already taxed on the funds that you're contributing, but when you actually reach retirement, you can actually withdraw those funds and they're tax-free. So unlike the traditional IRA where you're getting the tax benefit upfront, and then once you withdraw your funds in retirement, you will be taxed at that time in the future. With the Roth IRA, you're taxed now, and then in the future, after your money has actually gained via the stock market, you won't be taxed with those gains or with the original contributions. Now the third IRA that I mentioned is the SEP IRA, and that stands for a self-employed pension plan. Now this is only for people that own businesses, so small business owners and sole proprietors. And so with this account, you can actually contribute up to 25% of your income or at the very maximum $57,000 per year. And so it's the lesser of these two options. So in order to max out the SEP IRA, you need to have at least a $228,000 income in order for that $57,000 to represent at maximum 25% of your income. And yes, you did hear that right. It's $57,000 per year is the maximum that you can contribute to a SCP IRA. So that's one of the great benefits of being a small business owner or a sole proprietor versus having a W-2 and getting paid. The limits that you have as an employee are just $6,000 per year. And the reason that you have that option as a business owner, as a small business owner, is because you're not getting the traditional benefits that you would get as an employee of a corporation where you're getting 401k options, you're getting healthcare benefits. You're basically creating your own pension plan as a small business owner. Now, if you've heard of Acorns in the past, then Acorns Invest is the product that you've actually heard about. So I'll talk about Acorns Invest and the differences between it and Acorns later. Now, the obvious difference, as I mentioned, is Acorns Invest is the traditional brokerage account. It's the taxable account. And Acorns Later is a retirement account. And so you won't actually withdraw those funds or use those funds until you're actually in retirement. However, the other major difference between the two is that Acorns Invest is known for taking the spare change from your checking account whenever you make a purchase. So let's say if you go to the store, you spend $2.87 at the store and they round it up to three dollars so that 13 cent difference from what you actually paid and then rounding it up to three dollars that 13 cents is now automatically deposited into your acorns invest account so that way you're automatically investing your change into the stock market into whichever portfolio that you chose to use with acorns invest however with acorns later the retirement account you don't have that option to do the spare change investing you have to do at least a minimum of a five dollar transfer in order for an automatic deposit to go into your ira now this is a very popular product that has been out for many years and you may be wondering why this is the first time i'm mentioning acorns at all 
Now the main reason is because this Acorns Later feature is very new. It just came out within the past couple of months. And the great thing about this product, like I mentioned, is that you can automatically invest your spare change. So it's kind of a no brainer, something you don't have to think about on a daily basis. And this is the, the power of fractional shares investing, because normally you wouldn't be able to, to invest 13 cents in one company, or over the course of the month, it's gonna add up every transaction and add up all of those pennies and quarters that you've rounded up with all of your purchases. And then it's gonna collect those and then deposit that into your Acorns Invest account. And so you're able to invest fractional shares into large companies or into ETFs, different stocks and bonds. And so I'm a big proponent of using automated investing, also investing in fractional shares, because as a new investor or a beginner or someone that may not have a lot of money to invest, or if you wanna invest a specific dollar amount every pay period or maybe once per month, then investing in fractional shares allows you to invest the full amount of whatever you're depositing into the account if it allows for fractional share investing. And so I have an overview video talking about fractional shares investing, so make sure you check that out. But there are so many different platforms that allow the option to invest in fractional shares that it doesn't really make Acorns a very special platform in my opinion. And so some of those platforms I reviewed in the past, like M1 Finance, SoFi Invest, the public app, Cash App, and even Robinhood is slowly rolling out their fractional shares options. And now even the big players like Charles Schwab and Fidelity, they have the option for you to invest in fractional shares. And all of the platforms that I just mentioned, you can invest for free. There are no trading fees. Almost every platform is pretty much free trading now. And that's what makes those platforms that I just mentioned, to me, better than Acorns. Now with Acorns, you are charged a monthly fee in order to invest in either the Acorns Invest, which is $1 per month, and then with Acorns Later, it'll be $2 per month that you're charged in order to use their platform. And so if you're looking for a platform that has free trading, it has fractional share investing, but it is also completely free, then M1 Finance is the only platform available where you have the option to automatically invest a specific dollar amount you can also trade for free and you can invest in ETFs, the same ETFs that you would have access to via the Acorns Invest or Acorns Later platform. And they also have retirement accounts as well. So that's why M1 Finance is probably one of my favorite accounts. But for those who may have already used Acorn in the past, or because it's been around so long, maybe you have more trust of their platform. This is still a great option, but you can avoid the fees by using some of the platforms that I just mentioned. And I've done reviews of all of those platforms, so I'll have a link below in the description with a playlist for all of the investing apps that I've reviewed. And you can take a look at those reviews to see which platform is best for you. However, I do like the Acorns concept of taking the transactions that you make every day with your checking account and then just rounding that up so that way your spare change, money that if you're actually using cash, some people actually give away their spare change or may give it away to you know their, their son or their daughter or maybe just end up losing it in the couch cushion or in your car seat. That change, since you're using your debit card, you're using your checking account, that is automatically rounded up and then transferred into your Acorns account. But since this video was more about Acorns later, you do actually have to pick a specific dollar amount and the minimum amount is $5. So for those who are current Acorns users, you used Acorn Invest, have you signed up for an Acorns Later account? That way you can invest in your IRA, Roth IRA, or SEP IRA. And if you don't currently use Acorns, based on the features that I mentioned in this video, is this a platform that you think would work out for you with either Acorns Invest or Acorns Later? And so if you do decide to use any of the platforms, I have a referral link in the description and in the comment section below. And I would really appreciate if you do use the link because it does help support the Mobile Money Nation YouTube channel. And if you're interested in any of the other platforms that I mentioned that also have fractional shares investing, those will be in the description as well. All right, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate you taking this time out of your day. If you're not a part of the Mobile Money Nation, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day.